Skinny girls weak, the models don't compare Junk in the trunk, looking like two pairs Woo, got me hotter than a sauna Ass so fat, make me wanna thank your mama Ass so fat, I think I need a lap dance Ass so fat, about to pop out of them pants Hey guys, today I'm coming with another video. This video was supposed to be like a vlog, but I was working and the event was like super busy, super high paced. It was hard for me to vlog. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you guys the recipe to my homemade chicken pot pies. I hope you guys like it. Check it out. Here is my boneless, skinless chicken cutlets right here. I cleaned them, rinsed them, trimmed all the fat, rinsed them again. Um, put a little bit of vinegar, let it sit a little bit, rinse it again. So this is a really, really clean. And um, this oil looks pretty ready. We're about to throw um, the chicken in here. So let's do that. Okay, so we got the chicken in here. That may look like a lot of oil, but um, the chicken has distributed, I guess, the weight and space in the pan. And also, these leftover chicken, the chicken oil-based uh, drippings, I'm going to use that to make our um, bechamel sauce for the chicken pot pie. So, um, now we're going to start seasoning the chicken breast. I know this probably looks like a lot of chicken, but I'm going to probably make, like, at least five to six pans um of chicken pot pie because this is for an event and i'm feeding like 100 people you know different things this is just one of the food options so i'm making like five or six of these we're gonna see how much it makes but um first i'm gonna add some garlic salt now i'm gonna add some red pepper flakes um of course you don't have to put red pepper flakes it's up to you but my client ordered a spicy version like a medium hotness version of my chicken pot pies because they like a little spice. So I'm going to add some red pepper flakes now. That should be good. Now I'm going to add some, some fresh ground black pepper. I have to do this off camera because this is a grinder and I'm holding the camera. So let me add some pepper. I'll be right back. Now, I'm going to put some of this toasted minced onion. I would put fresh onion, but I don't really like fresh onion in pot pies. But I do like this uh, toasted minced onion because it's almost like it disappears inside of it. So, I'm going to put some of that in here. Next, I'm going to put a little bit of ground sage. I love sage and um, chicken. If you like poultry seasoning, sage is definitely in poultry season. So, you know, it just adds like a nice touch to chicken. If you add this to like minced meat, it makes it taste like sausages kind of. But I love adding sage to this. So I just put a little bit. Next, I'm going to add a little bit of Spanish smoked paprika. Just that amount. And um, next we're going to mix this up, let this cook down, reserve the liquid, make the sauce, and you'll see. So let's mix this up. Okay, so we got this all mixed up. Don't worry about all the liquid. Like I said before, we're going to reserve all this liquid for the sauce. So we're going to cover this, let it cook, and I'll be back. This is looking really good. So now I'm going to take the chicken out the pan and we're going to work with the juice. So here's the chicken right here. I made a nice big bowl of chicken that's perfectly cooked, seasoned good. You can see all that seasoning on the chicken. Mm. Here is that chicken um, olive oil kind of like a reduction. Super duper flavorful. So now to this, I'm going to add some flour. So it's just like a one-to-one -one ratio fat to flour. So. so that looks pretty good. I'm gonna stir it, make sure there's no lumps. So 
so that looks pretty good. Now to this, I'm going to add some warm whole milk. I know this probably looks like a lot, but I'm doing five pans. So now I'm going to mix this and I'll be right back. Okay, so I mixed this really good. I just added some more um, fresh ground black pepper. I'm going to let this come to a simmer and I'll be back. Okay, you guys, so this is looking good, nice and thick, definitely um, coating the spoon. I'm about to add back the chicken, add our veggies. I'm using two packs of mixed vegetables, one pack of sweet peas, and some cute potatoes, and I'll be right back. Okay, you guys, here's how it looks. So nice and thick. Does that not look delicious? So I'm going to let this cool down a little bit and then put it in our uh, foil pans. Look at that. Yo, that looks so good. Yummy. All that chicken, all these veggies, this thick gravy. Mmm. We just gonna watch this for a minute. Look at that. Yum. Okay, you guys. So I was able to get four nice size pans out of that big pot of the filling. Um, I thought it was gonna be five, but you know, these are pretty nice size amounts that I have in here. So you know, you wanna make sure it's enough we don't want no thin pot pies so um i'm about to sprinkle this with a little bit of fresh ground black pepper okay so i sprinkled it with some more black pepper freshly ground and now i'm about to top them with some pie crust they're just some ready made store pie crust rolled um this is what they look like i got these from aldi's Comes, it comes two in a box, and we're about to top them. Okay, you guys, so I got them covered with the pie dough, the pie crust, and now I'm just going to put these in the fridge and just let them chill until I um, put them in the oven when my event, when it's, you know, closer to the time of my event. But they look pretty. I put little vent holes in the top just to make sure that the crust, like it doesn't bubble under. So, they look good.
So here is today's giveaway. Hey, okay, you guys. So before I show you what today's giveaway is, let me announce the winner from the last video's giveaway of that uh, Bluetooth speaker. The winner is ba -da -ba -da, Sharon Young. So I just replied to your comment on that video. Um, please be sure to email me your address so I can send you your prize. Congratulations, girl. Now, let's get into today's giveaway. So today's giveaway is this kit from Double Dare. It's their OMG mask and skincare line. You get these two masks here, or you get this um 24 karat gold eye patch mask, this face and neck peel off mask, this moisture finishing cream. It comes with this super cool and cute headband that you put on so you don't get the mask um on your hair when you're doing your mask. And it comes with this super cute brush that you use to put the mask on your face. And it's like a whole set of kits. Like, it has like five different masks in here. And this super cute headband. I thought this was so cute. I actually wanted to keep this when I got it. But I decided to give it to you guys instead. It's super cute. It's from Double Dare. It's their OMG skincare line. Of course, if you by chance don't win this giveaway, I'll leave... I'll, of course, by chance, if you guys don't win this giveaway, I'll leave the link to these products in the description box below so you guys can go check it out. And yeah, it's super cute. You get some skincare and this super cute mask. Like, that um, headband is super cute. I'd wear that when I'm doing my makeup. Like, it's definitely multi-use. Uh, that brush is super soft. And uh, yeah, super cute. Thank you, Double Dare, for sending me this for my subscribers. You guys are going to love it. I can't wait for you guys to try it out. Okay, you guys. So all you have to do to enter today's giveaway is make sure you're subscribed to this channel. Give this video a thumbs up. And leave me a comment below and just say something nice. Nothing more, nothing less. You know, I don't like you guys to jump through hoops. Like, it, that's just too much. Anyway, so, um, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. Leave that comment, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Don't forget to do you, boo. Bye, guys.